do him save my ass. Not yet. Huh? Most of the heat resistant tiles have peeled off. The temperature's rising. Well, whatever happens, happens. You have known loss, and that loss torments you still. You hope hatred might someday replace the pain, but it never goes away. It makes a man hideous inside and out. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> we both are demons. Our humanity won't return. You, me, we've no place to run. Nowhere to hide. And that is why I'll show you my demon. Follow me, big boss. stand here, present some egghead scientific argument based on fact. I'm just a regular dude. I like to drink beer, you know? I love my family. Rock, flag, and eagle, right, Charlie? He's got a point. No, he doesn't. What? You see, Charlie? These liberals are trying to assassinate my character. And I can't change their mind. I won't change my mind, because I don't have to. Because I'm an American. I won't change my mind on anything, regardless of the facts that are set out before me. I'm dug in, and I'll never change. Mac, look, you're wasting our time. You're not gonna get us to not believe in evolution. And why is that? Because the smartest scientists in the entire world all agree that it's real. I'm glad you brought that up. Because, Mr. Reynolds, science is a liar sometimes. Oh, boy. This is Aristotle thought to be the smartest man on the planet. He believed that the Earth was the center of the universe, and everybody believed him because he was so smart. Until another smartest guy came around, Galileo, and he disproved that theory, making Aristotle and everybody else on Earth look like a bitch. Of course, Galileo then thought comets were an optical illusion, and there's no way that the moon could cause the ocean's tides. Everybody believed that because he was so smart. He was also wrong, making him and everyone else on Earth look like a bitch again. And then, best of all, Sir Isaac Newton gets born and blows everybody's nips off with his big brains. Of course, he also thought he could turn metal into gold and died eating mercury, making him yet another stupid bitch. Are you seeing a pattern? No. Mr. Reynolds, these were all the smartest scientists on the planet. Only problem is, they kept being wrong. Sometimes. Oh, 
This is insane, you fool! I'm a fool because I have more faith in the saints that wrote the Bible? Yeah, because you just read the words of a bunch of guys that you never met, and you just take it on faith that everything they wrote was true. Mm. And what makes you think what your scientists are writing is any more truer than my saints? Because there are volumes of proven data, numbers, you know, figures. Th th there are fossil records. Oh, fossil records. Ah! I didn't even think about the fossil records. I guess I'll concede. Oh, wait, well, uh, one more thing before I do, Mr. Reynolds. Have you seen these fossil records? Have I s Huh? Have you poured through the data yourself, the numbers, the figures? Well, no, I'm, no. Oh, interesting. So let me get this straight, Mr. Reynolds. You get your information from a book written by men you've never met. And you take their words as truth, based on a willingness to believe, a desire to accept, a leap of, oof, dare I say it, <laughs> faith? Ah, come on, come on. Look, I mean, I don't even know how I'm supposed to respond to that. Like, ah, come on. That is a, that's a false equivalency. Just answer the question, Mr. Reynolds. Sure, yeah, OK. I rest my case. Well, that got me. Yeah. Uh, me you know. Frank, do you want me to put me over? Yeah, all right. What? Well, we're going on the fence. I mean, that's a shadow of a doubt. You actually don't believe in evolution anymore? I don't know. He created a reasonable doubt. He makes you sound like a stupid uh, science bitch. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose and why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of green ego. One of the wisest men on the planet. <laughs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Continue your search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Huh? Oh, stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. The sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. 
Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Tarnation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right, and then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man, are you gonna keep yapping, or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Karl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Cause I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there before I turn you both into ferns.
Alrighty, welcome everybody. We're gonna have a stream today. So look at this. My name is Frank West. Get that. No, hold on. Relax. Calm down. My name is Frank West. <laughs> I have two hundred three thousand dollars. Where did I get all this money? What? And I got a beer in my hand. That's about right. Okay. Okay, game. No, I'm not here to help. Shut up. No, leave me alone. How dare you play? Plastic, but it works. Oh, we get you. Oh wait. No, if I can. To the next chair. Easy peasy. Lemon pie cheese. Let's get out of here. Oh, oh folks. Whoa, where's my cut? Hey. Oh. Ow. Ow. I got business, all right? You guys don't understand. Where's the map at? Oh, the map. No, not tutorials. Map. Okay. Uh, sure. I got a guy. Hold on. Hold on, I gotta run through these guys. I was checking to make sure I'm not running by anything. Ow. Just in case I need a little bit of health, I've got a taco now. I'll just put it in my back pocket. Let's move. <laughs> Military rides at 36 hours, 24 minutes, 36 seconds. Oh. Hey. 
Many. I gotta move. Yeah. Frank, those men have already drilled through the wall outside the Atlantica Casino. Okay. You have to stop them. Hurry. I'm trying. Hold on. I don't give a shit about the heist at the Atlantica, really. I'm trying to just get the cake <laughs> for two done. Hold on. How far did I go? Fuck me, really? Got this, you got this. No, 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 no. We'll stop for nothing. Nope, nope, we're just doing this mission. On my way. Not too easy. Fuck off! Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. We're moving up. We got this, we got this. Tame the jungle heart? How is that a Yucatan PP hint? Tame the jungle heart. What? 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 What are you telling me, game? What kind of fucking hint is that? Most games would be like, here's a combo. Or, or here's where a power up is or some bullshit. Or, or here's how to fucking get help. This game was like, listen, listen, tame the tiger heart. Tame the jungle heart. From Yucatan. Like, what? What the fuck are you talking about, game? Stop fucking fucking with me! So I wanted... Out of my way! I need help though. Oh shit, I need help. What's at least... Oh, I need help. Oh, come on, come on, we can do this, we can do this. Come on, come on, we're running, we're running, out of my fucking way, you dumb zombies. Out of my way! <laughs> All because of that, I had to kill them both. Okay, I'll do that.
do I pay you people for? Staying a bit longer than planned, boys. yourself there, kiddo. I hope I don't have to do everything for you. Touché, Frank. You need me to stick around and stay on top of the story? You do come in handy. Look, they're robbing the damn city. That's why TK started this. For money. We sure got our story now. Our story? Hmm. I've got a meeting with my source tonight. I think maybe it's time you met. Oh, yeah? I guess I'm not such a burden anymore. I think this is kind of a special case, Frank. I'll meet you at Benny Jack's in the Americana. Wouldn't miss it. All right, we did it, gang. That was, that was, that wasn't easy, but we did it. We did it, team. Good job. I'll give us a... B plus for us. Anyway, those guys that were shooting us aren't shooting us anymore. And K51, where the fuck do I have to go? I have to get near that. Cause that's the story my base K51. Case fucking five. Is this case five one? God damn it! Hold on. Uh, uh where do I? Where do I? Case five one. Where are you? Not gonna show me. God dang it! I don't know where to go. Fine. Oh, fine. I, that, damn it, quit it, I'm almost dead. Dick. I gotta get my ass in the middle. I'm gonna take a break. And I'm gonna take a rat from it, and I'm gonna throw I don't want it! What can we do with the world? A battery? A battery? Yeah, I like this. I like this. I like this, but I'm going to throw it behind myself. I'm going to put the lawnmower on here. And then I'm going to leave the town to the field. I need help now. Where or where can I go? I want to take my lawnmower with me. Get out of here. Here we go. Find Lady Cosmetics. Well, oh. oh, that's the guy who took the shotgun from me there. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm glad there's a little bit of content. I don't mind. Oh, good job for killing him. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna. Hey, 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 quit it. <laughs> that was completely on purpose. Okay. Get up and out. I was gonna say get back, but they aren't really. You know what we should do? It makes a little bit of a bacon. Alright, can we should make it? No. No. That may maybe. Oh, this is this is the creation room today. Okay, no. But I'm high. Fireworks I just threw away. Ha! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I did it to my third degree. Oh, well. See ya. When one of you. And we just assume they explode. Boom! That was the explosion. Okay, where am I now? What? I'm just gonna go with that sand. I'm gonna take the pick. What am I, stupid? Don't worry, I've got a break. I'm safe. Oh, what were they doing up here again? Ah, yes, fighting. Fighting. Massage that ball, says the silver strip PP What the fuck? Time to break the bank. Vegas. Okay. I'll break the bank by throwing bricks at people. Guys, I 
there's no type of land in such shit. I don't know. Hey, right. Yeah! <laughs> now we're talking. Is that a spear? Okay. Ha! I'll take that. And another brick. Now we're just oh. cooking with fire. Give me this. Give me the spoil hamburger. I don't want a spoil hamburger. Get out of here. I look like I want a fucking spoiled hamburger. My, my chicken. What? What? a machete? Broom? Beauty! A beauty. I really want the rest of them. I have a brick. Wonderful. What's the meaning? Starting to heat up. Frying pans, that is. Make sure I'm going the right way. I don't like this. Let's go there. I'll go straight through here. Oh, 
A pair of suitcase full of money. What?
Ravitha! Oh, we got it. Hey, Rebecca? You in here? Rebecca, Rebecca, please! Help me, please! <laughs> All right, Frankie West. You've been messing things up for me pretty good. Time for a little payback. TK, where the hell is she? You're gonna go get me that money you cost me with your little game, Frank. One million dollars by seven o'clock. How in the hell am I going to do that? It's Fortune City, Frank. The land of riches. Get creative. Bring it to the show nightclub, and we might just let you see your little girlfriend again. Don't you touch her. Oh, too late. See you then. Frankie. All righty, sounds good. Now I'm going to. bit of a stream end because I gotta go to the bathroom and eat some food. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you all next time.